All right, we're back for more. We're back with high octane energy. Are you, give me a high five, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we are here to win races or at least get second or third or fourth. In fact, there are 99 options we are going for. Are you ready, Garrett? Let's let's just go into it. I'm it, willing to get anywhere between first and 99th place. Let's same, do this. Same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is Damage Boost Bonsai. I'm Philip. We've got Garrett here. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, uh, you're just here to check out F099. Um, I tried to scare off all the people in the beginning of the episode who weren't going to, you know, give us more than five seconds of view time. And now we're just gonna chill and hang out and make some. Make some sand ocean. Make some sand oceans. Rank higher than your rivals. And raise your skill rating. You know, like the, the Fortnite person you are. You really <laughs> want those ranks. Yeah. You gotta get those. Gotta get those. Uh, those F bucks. Those? Spike? Luke? Liam? <laughs> uh oh. Hell yeah. We're playing as Garbo. I might be looking at a lot of names this time. Have we played this one before? So it's new to us. Oh wait, I think we have one. Use the spin Oh, that was neat! There's two openings to the track and then you guys intersect here, so it's actually not chaos until you get to the boost pad. Yeah. I like that. I love this one. What's this called? Sand Ocean? Yeah, Sand Ocean. Oh, sick. Alright, you're about half boost. And don't forget when you're sliding, uh, letting go of boost will stop your slide. So right. Or so uh, let go of accelerate? What was the... Yeah, accelerate. We, we did a little bit of researching between episodes to learn a few things. And... Uh, we are not playing this on day one of release of the game. So... We are the last to learn about this game. That is our only efficiency. Pick up those golden boys. Shit. Those things sneak up on you. Yeah, they do. If you don't know where they are. I was like practicing the maps that seem to be the meta and then you got the sky sky tree. Or whatever it's called. I'll just drive into the wall. The skyway? Yeah. What is it called? Is it called Skyway? Okay. Stairway to heaven. Yeah. Whoa, I think a lot of people died. Past all of them. Awesome. You just went from like 99th place to 76th out of 77th place. Oh, I almost had it. Oh, he's almost dead. Yeah, he was almost dead, but he got away. Good eye. Alright, nice. Almost got another Skyway. Pick up these little golden dudes for a little while. Dang, I thought this thing had like shark turning. These are some very shark turning. Yeah. This is like. Your Skyway's ready. So I was reading to this about someone who was going through a traumatic event um, on the internet, and the top comment was like, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that trauma, I hope you can find therapy, I uh, just know that there are people who care about you, and that, you know, no one expects to experience, like, something horrific, like someone hurting themselves in front of you at any time. So, just like, go seek out therapy and stuff like that. And the second comment was, we'll play Tetris right now. Uh, is this thing off? Yeah. <laughs> Are you just focusing? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need to play some Tetris after this. <laughs> this is your trauma? <laughs> You and I are trauma bonding over F099. <laughs> and why why are you still friends with Philip after all these years? No one. No one knows what it was like to go through F099 but him. It was just me, him, the controller, Amateur's Bonsai. <laughs> me, him, the controller. Me, him, me. me. <laughs> the controller? The F-Zeros, all 99 of them. Which doesn't make any sense. Like, if there's 99 zeros, what kind of number is that? Yeah, 99 times zero is still zero. <laughs> and F isn't a number. It's an integer. 
Nah, it's uh, it's it's what people say after I ever take a test. I'm like, hey guys, I took a test. They're like, oh, f. <laughs> <laughs> or when people want to pay their respects. To me. F in the chat. F in the chat. But yeah, apparently, um, if you do puzzles or you do some sort of um, like occupying your mind kind of thing while you are re-experiencing trauma or while you are currently experiencing like a traumatic memory, it allows your brain, as you are working at the puzzle, in the back of your subconscious, your subconscious, it feels like you're trying to work out the trauma, weirdly enough. It works the same as like EMDR therapy, which is uh, something about eye motion. EM stands for eye motion, something, something. Oh. And EMDR has to do with like moving your eyes in certain ways, the same way. Uh, I don't know, it, it just affects your mood in some way, in a positive or negative way, that allows you to think about your trauma in a way that tricks your mind into thinking you dealt with the trauma. So you're you're basically tricking yourself. So I wonder if like the whole eye movement aspect of it, like, so I know that um, like when someone's trying to remember something that would up into the right. I see there. that all the time in my job, all the time. Uh, someone saying, "Oh yeah, uh, uh, I think the way that works is," and they look up into the side and they go, "This thing connects to that, and the headphone connects to the light bone, and whatever <laughs> else." Something that's real for sure. Of course. And uh, I'm not a doctor, I don't work. Anyways. Ooh. Oh. Stay, uh, just stay alive. Spin move! Oh, I think that helps on oh. the left. No, we're so close. We're so close, dude. Oh, cool. Well, now I can jump up people. Aww, yeah. Okay, you were saying, um,. People use eye motion to remember things. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, uh, it's like an eye motion thing. It helps you like remember. Um, ooh, those guys are all about to die soon. Oh, that guy should have died. Damn. <laughs> No, there's no one for a while. Oh, you just, you're <laughs> like, it's over. Yeah. I tried as, got as many as I could. I um, bumped a bunch of them. Yep. But yeah, like, certain, like, eye and limb gestures unlock certain parts of the brain to, like, access certain... Yeah, that's what EMDR is about. Yeah. And, and somehow, playing a puzzle accesses those same areas of your brain in a way that helps you deal with trauma. That's pretty cool. I'd, I could get behind that. Yeah. And it, I grew up doing lots of, like, I would get angry, and I would walk over to my room and I'd play a video game. Like, I'd be like, you know, I've already played this level of, I don't know, Lego Star Wars, and I'm going to just beat it again until I get 100%. And if I did get 100% or whatever I was trying to do, playing Halo and beat it faster, play it with only punches or... Uh, uh, Whatever, okay. <laughs> like challenge right. I was giving myself. Or even doing a Sudoku. I would like sit down and I'd do Sudoku and by the time I was done with it I wouldn't know why I was upset. That's kinda cool. Yeah. So I guess I've always had a good healthy mindset because I have done a lot of puzzles. But I think that was forced on me. In a positive way, because I like puzzles. Yeah, I'd say that puzzles are a fairly healthy coping mechanism. So you can control how much you fly as well. We've yeah. learned. So you can like drop fast and then hit that boost. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna stick stick in the center. Even though it's chaotic, stay in the center, and everyone you take less damage from people than you do the walls. So it's worth staying in the center of the path. Hell yeah, stay in the center. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Beggar's Canyon back home. <laughs> Wait, what? That, that's from uh, Star Wars. Oh. Um, uh, I can't remember when Luke says it, but Luke's like, just like Beggar's Canyon back home when they're, uh... Shoot, what are they? I, now I can't remember. Not a true fan. You know, I guess I've never watched Star Wars and I don't know what it is. Big fan. Big fan. Everybody loves us in the comments. <laughs> 
Yep. This guy doesn't know his uh, captain from his Picard. If ever uh, Boba Fett wants to meet me, or whoever <laughs> plays Boba Fett in like future renditions of Boba Fett, just you know, remind them to cancel me. <laughs> yeah. If you're if you're Boba Fett or um, <laughs> if you're Sam Boba Smith Fett, from all right. Uh, everyone in the, in uh, our comment section, if you're Boba Fett, do whatever Garrett's saying right now. All the Boba Fetts, come on, please stand up. Oh, you see that thing? You, you need to get, you need to get help. You I need, need to help. get help. I could leave. Some help. You're you're out of you're out of the sky, man. You have to live. Sorry, help. <laughs> that's a, that's all right. Oh. <laughs> Dies immediately. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, <laughs> I want to try. I want to try. All right, have at it. All right. What do you? What else do you think is connected to like the mind in a weird way besides like eye motion? Uh, like, do you think that that Italians people's minds are connected directly to their hands? Because so many, maybe it's just what I've heard is true. Here's a crazy. So many theory. people talk with their hands. You know. I think every single human being. Their brain is directly connected to their hands via the nervous system. No way. I feel like the, the Italian like, hand thing, I don't actually know what that's all about. Maybe it's just kind of like I, a I can't tell if it's a meme. Or... I, it might be a meme though, right? Probably. Like, kind of like there's a meme about you can't eat pasta the wrong way. Yeah. Um. So it just depends on the person, really, though, because some people are very expressive with their hands, and other people are very lack of expression in their entire bodies, including their faces. Would you say if Tetris and puzzles are like, uh, oops, that was good boost, you got it. Oh, I did. Yeah. Nice. Hold it. Ha! Um, don't touch me! Oh, shit, why did I get inside the play? <laughs> um, what would you say F-Zero does to like, the mind? It is not like a puzzle, you know? Yeah. So... Um, if, you're, if you're good at it, it makes you sweaty. Makes you sweaty? Yeah, all these people that keep winning, they're It connects to like, the area of your mind that like... Oh, no, that's not what it's... No. <laughs> I don't um, believe in sweaties like that. Uh, People just do like what they like. Yeah. I, I certainly wouldn't say that this is necessarily a relaxing game. But it, like... Sorry. I, I, I really that. wanted to kill that blue guy. <laughs> he should have died, honestly. Oh, really? I mean, wasn't he going flashing? Uh, but yeah, like... What's connected to your mind? How do we unlock it here? Uh, with the keyblade. With the keyblade? Yep. Nice. Okay. I haven't fully gotten the turning in this game. Yeah, that's really weird. It's like it, it, this. This feels like when you play Kirby's Air Ride and you're playing the Slick Star. Yeah, exactly. That's how this yeah. vehicle feels. The other one that I had felt like a little bit smoother. It said this one's like better at this. Oh, yeah, there getting, you go. There you I'm go. getting the let go of accelerate thing. Yeah, there you All go. All right, got yeah, this guy. Right Whatever it's called. Oh, okay. It's gonna be something different every time I talk about it, huh? Yeah. Whoa, my health is so full now. Yeah, that was. Why nice. is that? Do you get more when you're on the sky, sky view tower? I don't actually know, but I would believe it. Well, I think I need to get a little bit better than uh, last place. So I'm gonna accelerate nonstop. Now. There you go. Get that sky roll again. Oh! oh. I, I've never finished a race before. Hey, you oh! Got oh! Oh! Yes! All right, retiring. Here you go, Gary. That's it. That's that's the game. I think you just won. I did. Six plus four is ten. So. <laughs> and 10 is more than 99. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? We got time for another? Uh, we're only like halfway through this one.
Alright, alright. Another. We'll just keep keep doing it. Maybe I'll oh, see. change it. Yeah, let's try a different one. Uh, because I don't think I like the turning on that one so much. Uh, I remember, so the top one's balanced, the second one's high acceleration and decent turning, the third one is high durability, and the fourth one is max turning and max speed, it said. Yeah. But I don't really feel the max speed. Everything was way ahead of it. Yeah. Like the whole time. I don't really... It's because they were all, like, really hogging the turns and stuff. Let's see, what am I seeing there? I have a little bit of everything. Yeah, it really depends on your play style, I think, so that's what's kind of cool. I like that F-Zero has, like, a balanced set of vehicles, where you don't feel like you all have to use the same item. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's like, just a set meta. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there is a meta, but it, the meta is based on who you are. Yeah. Is this one, uh, video better? Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is the time you gotta win. Whoa, you just got a lot of gold. Yeah. Someone dropped it on. It's been moved in boost. Oh. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. I oh, was someone blew up. In the back of my mind, I was, I was thinking. Slow down for that like gold and vehicle just happen. Yeah, and I thought about sky. it, and then like six people passed me. I was like, I. You're already doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> that just kills you. Yeah, if you go that just course, kills you. you. Just lose. Oh, you can uh, stay in the air longer next time. Yeah. If that happens, because we, we now we can maneuver in. You were when you died. I think you were at like 65th place. Every time I see you play, you're already doing better. You're incredible in this game. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not gonna punch people right now. Not more like Yacht. That sucks. <laughs> hey, I got 50 points. I think mean, who's good? <laughs> uh, I, I like how you antithesis some things I say. I'm like, oh, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. You're like, no, I'm fine. And other times I'm like, you're doing great! And you're like, no, I suck. <laughs> Maybe I got a reverse psychology and be like, yeah, you're gonna lose this race. If no, that's what I'm gonna do. It's whole race. I'm gonna be negative so you can be positive and then you'll win. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Jork! Snowbird. I like Jork though. Jork's a good name. T Real. Like T Rex. <laughs> but he's the real one. Oh. Oh, you know, that was a close one. I like I like the Sand Ocean a lot. I think other people are coming around on it. Yeah, Sand Ocean's cool. Just Butte City is just too good. Is it, it I mean it's the same music for all the courses, isn't it? No. I mean I think they're different. Oh. Oh, I am mean, I just like ear blind? At what's least, happening? At least originally they are supposed to be different tracks. Oh. They probably are, and I'm just ear blind to it. Oh, that's terrible, but you should really try harder. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I should get sweaty. Well, yeah, unless, I, unless I'm seeing you, like, pour the sweat, I don't really think you're ready for this brownie kid. <laughs> oh, you call that a spin move? I call that a, a, a chin move. <laughs> I'll show you a chin move. <laughs> I'll show you my chin move. And then we just start fighting with our chins. Chin to chin. Like, yeah, like the, the crimson chin is signature move, just like falling buckle with his chin. Dude, whatever happened to that actor? Didn't he like get in some serious trouble or was that? It got weird. You know, like all 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 Nickelodeon things that go on too long. They got weird. That's true. Um, like it got into some deep lore where more fairies got involved than him just doing regular imagination stuff um, and doing regular world scenarios. Oh, okay. And then as more fairies got involved, he got more involved with the rules, and then it countered its own concept of the rules. You know, it, it and then it, it, it intersected with Jimmy Neutron, and then it went to the oh, real yeah, world the, the at one point, point. and uh, Drake Bell was uh, in at one point. And Drake Bell was like a weirdo at some point, so that probably didn't age well. Cool. 
Nickelode I don't know it's so strange how Nickelodeon yes. always seems to Holy shit dude. You've I got a boost. To you're so you're so you're max boost right now. And you've got the sky train. Boost now. Can you boost up here? It doesn't seem it up, you have full, full health. You're so right. Just like nail through them. You're 15th place? If that's because you suck, uh, I, I'm supposed <laughs> to be on that right now. Oh, good, nice. Oh, what are you gonna do? Hit, hit every wall? Yeah, fall in the 18th place? Pathetic. Damn! <laughs> it works! Holy shit. I think this vehicle is definitely a lot better for just the slamming through them strategy. Yeah. You got that KO, and once you had that KO, it gave you a lot more boost, which I think... Is there room for a tournament? Yeah, there's room for a tournament if we can do one. Uh, All right, let's try it. Let's yeah. give it a shot. Is it there? Oh. Doesn't start for a little while. Oh, mini pre? Sure. Sure. <laughs> so three races, do your best. It's at, 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 out of all three. So which one was a good one? Let's goose it up. No. Oh wait, oh yeah. Is that the one you did? Yeah, that was the one that I was just like pushing past her. Nice. Alright. So this is just the powerhouse that lives long enough to race with. Yeah. It doesn't look like many other people choose the Oh no, they do choose the goose. They got special skins. Yeah. There's all these yellow gooses. Other colored gooses. That's tricky, because some of them are, they look like they're a different vehicle. Yeah, it's just easy. Yeah. I like the goose. Way on that 99%, I guess. Preparing track. Preparing track. Ooh. Preparing track. Oh, we haven't done the ice one, have we? We, have we not haven't. Done ice. So that'll be completely blind if I make it that far. That guy's got some symbols under him, that Leon Zio. Oh. He must be a drummer. Why is that? Symbols? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> why are you pretty good one, huh? You, you know what? The first time uh, I, I did puns with my dad, as a little child who was doing terrible bad puns, my dad just told me that puns are terrible and I should never do them and they're awful. And I was like, puns. what? Puns are hilarious. He's like, oh, you think this is funny? He went in the kitchen and he walked back uh, into the room and he's like, look at this. What is this? And he held up a bowl and he put his fist into the bowl from the side and he's like, it's a punch bowl. And I was like, oh my god. That's so funny. And he's like, no, it's not. You can't enjoy that. It's, it's not bad. funny. <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, you just brought it up. Like, I'm I'm kind of giddy about puns right now. That's pretty funny. Man. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a uh, that's a mini print. Uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>